Hi, I'm Gretchen Frazee. Dozens of government union workers protested sequestration cuts outside NSA Crane today. As WTIU's Dan Goldblatt reports, the workers say they're fed up with inaction in Washington. Holding banners and chanting, Crane employees used their lunch break to protest a 20% pay cut many are facing. The move will involve an unpaid furlough one day a week. Union local secretary treasurer Mary Crow says Congress's inability to produce a budget shouldn't cause her paychecks to get smaller. We think furlough, sequestration, paying our freeze is ridiculous. The people here are hard workers during all the wars. We have worked late, we went on ships, we have some people deployed in Afghanistan. You know, we're here to support the war fighter. The workers say they're angry at lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Crane computer programmer Michael Paget says the furloughs could affect the way the base responds to a national security incident. Our main job is to support a war fighter. And uh, without our support, and they need it desperately, is uh, we're going to be shorted up a little bit. In a statement, Congressman Todd Young says his office has talked with a number of Crane employees and says he understands how they're being affected by the furloughs. Young blames the president, saying he's failed to put forth a specific plan and sequestration leads to across-the-board cuts rather than targeted reductions. For WTIU News, I'm Dan Goldblatt. The Indiana Hoosiers are advancing to the Big Ten semifinals. IU defeated Illinois 80-64 in Chicago. WTIU's Sarah Whitmire and videographer Bill Shaw take us to Nick's English Hut in Bloomington, where fans who didn't make the trip north, trip north gathered to cheer on the Hoosiers. It was a sea of crimson and cream today at lunch as a crowd packed into Knicks to watch IU defeat Illinois in the Big Ten quarterfinals. IU number one, baby, yeah! The Hoosiers got the lead midway through the first half and hung on to it until the end. Kathy Hughes drove up to Bloomington from Evansville to watch the game with her daughter, who's a student at IU. I think they're going to go all the way. I just know they're going to make it all the way. Number one, yay! I loved Victor Oladipo's dunk, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited to be here. Go IU number one! The top-seeded Hoosiers will play the winner of the Wisconsin-Michigan game in Saturday afternoon's Big Ten Tournament semifinals. The Indiana University softball team played its home opener today at Andy Moore Field. The stadium located near the 45-46 bypass in Bloomington is part of a new $19.8 million softball and baseball complex. The stadium includes a lighting and sound system, indoor and outdoor hitting cages, and suites. The Hoosiers won their inaugural game over Toledo 9-1. Here's a look at the weather. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of rain. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, 20% chance of rain showers, highs in the mid-50s. For WTIU News, I'm Gretchen Frazee.